go in the bag long journey ahead that means I did a video towards the back end of last year called my ultimate football bucket list or something like that where I ran through some stadiums that I really really need to see games at one was Dortmund I've seen a game there another one was Bayern Munich a couple of Germans one was Boca Juniors one was JDT a team from Malaysia and one was Aberdeen not only was it on my bucket list but Pitodri Aberdeen's home is the last premiership ground I'm yet to see a game in so after today's video I can proudly say that I've seen a game at every single Scottish Premiership Stadium. Something I'm quite proud of having moved here a couple of years ago. Please hit that like button, please subscribe if you're new. Aberdeen fans, I cannot wait to get up into the country. Finally great to be in Aberdeen and actually be able to go inside Pataudry today. This has got to be my most visited stadium that I've actually never been inside. I think I've made three or four, maybe even more than that, Aberdeen related videos in some capacity at least, some that are fully dedicated to the club somewhere I just visit and on every single occasion I've never been able to get inside but today is different and since I've last came here is the Sir Alex Ferguson statue. The most needed statue in all of Scotland before it was built. Honestly the fact that there was I don't think any statues of Fergie in Scotland is absolutely crazy, but here we go. Look, what has he won? The Scottish Premier Division three times here at Aberdeen. 80, 84, 85. The Scottish Cup, 82, 83, 84, 86. That is absolutely mad numbers. Immortalising our greatest ever manager, unveiled in February 2022. He won the League Cup in 86, but most impressively is the Cup Winners' Cup. I'll get out of the way so you can actually see it. The Cup Winners' Cup and the Super Cup absolutely insane meaning that Aberdeen are the only team in Scotland with two UEFA titles to their name yeah from Aberdeen yeah Aberdeen Aberdeen fan yeah I actually I live in the Philippines now so oh wow okay so, nice yeah, so yeah I don't get as much as much games as I, as I like to but yeah okay fair enough so nice to come back over and visit and yeah, see yeah. the mighty dons yeah? yeah there's an Aberdeen fan over from the Philippines lives in the Philippines now so he wouldn't have seen the Fergie statue yet either and it's interesting they have that statue he is the last man to have won the league title in Scotland that wasn't Celtic or Rangers I think 1985 and that was Aberdeen of course so an absolute legend of the game Aberdeen a massive club like I say the stuff that they've won in the 80s is just absolutely insane it is known as the Granite City or sometimes the grey city as well I've been here on a grey day before and and the grey sky with the grey buildings isn't the nicest look but on a nice blue day like this look how unique and nice it looks I've commented on that before I think there's parts of granite on the outside of Pitodri as well around the back too wow just check this out look walking around the city of Aberdeen just now look who knew there was a Dennis Law statue here proud Aberdonian Freeman of the city Huddersfield Man City Torino Man United in Scotland look at that I didn't even know this was here stumbled upon it look at that football legend Dennis Law just along from the statue which is over there look gives you a bit of info on Dennis Law born in Printfield in Aberdeen in 1940 look at all the things that he went on to achieve um, he was a Ballon d'Or winner but look at the clubs that he played for 18 hat-tricks all this for Man United scoring 237 goals 46 goals in the 64 season still a Man U record to this day joint record scorer for Scotland of course as well and Scotland's only winner of the prestigious Ballon d'Or there you go Dennis Law Aberdeen legend not Aberdeen Football Club but the area I should probably tell you about the two teams, shouldn't I? So Aberdeen are currently seventh in the league. They've had an okay start to, to the season. Didn't have the greatest of seasons last year when people tipped them to do well. Um, and they are playing Kilmarnock today, a team that I've covered a lot in the past. I even interviewed Fraser Murray, one of their young, talented players, um, at the start of this season. And they are 11th. So we've got seventh versus 11th. Aberdeen are the home side. So you'd expect Aberdeen to probably get the win. But um, yeah, it's a shame to see Killy down in 11th. Um, I'm sure they'll bounce back with a few good results soon. But yeah, 7th v 11th, Scottish Premiership, of course, there's 12 teams in the Prem, um, but just really glad it's back. It's been a long time, hasn't it? What with the Queen um, dying and stuff, and then the international break. It just seems like it's been ages since I've been to a good old Saturday three o'clocker. My name is Kyle. I'm from Aberdeen. Do you know? Yeah. I'm a big Aberdeen fan. I can see, mate, and it's my first time here today. What should I expect from the crowd, the atmosphere? Depends where you sit in and all of that. 
Yeah. And I don't mind this Aberdeen store. Come on the dance. I'm Graham, uh, big Aberdeen fan. Obviously, you know me from the, the Cast for Kids charity football match yeah. we've done over the years. And we've managed to finally get you up to a game. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's been a long time coming know, for you to yeah, get up here. Yeah, um, and just tell everyone about the charity stuff that you do. Yeah, we, we run a charity event every year for Cast for Kids. It's a host of Aberdeen players, former Dons players, uh, Ian Jess, um, one Eugene Daddy, you can name, name, and, name and name more and more. Yeah. But yeah, we do it every year. Perfect. And uh, we've got a few celebs coming up next year, including Sam. Yes, I'll be up this one. I'll be up yeah. this one, definitely. And um, it's my first game here at Pottery today. Yeah. What should I expect from the atmosphere? And are you confident Aberdeen will uh, win? I, oh, hopefully we'll win. It's, uh, as I say, Aberdeen's in a bit of a rebuilding phase at the moment. Um, past, past season and then this season. Um, it's been a bit of a stop start again this year, but hopefully... The Dons want to win this game, obviously with Derek coming back home. Um, I say home, it's like he's home anymore, but yeah. you know what I mean? But um, hopefully Derek gets a good welcome as well from the fans. Yeah, he's coming back, yeah. he used to be the manager here, he killing did, manager. He did, yeah. And yeah, a lot of good memories with Derek, so... Um, but yeah, listen, it's all about Aberdeen, get the win, and get up that table. My first game at Pataudry today, yeah. what should the atmosphere be like for me? The atmosphere will be great. Is it? Main stand. What do you reckon? Oh, I'll get to see the shed. I've heard about yeah. the shed, but I'll get to see it at least. First time. First time here, yeah. Yeah, no, the red shed's good. It's improved a lot. I'll come to the red shed for a bigger game, maybe. Yeah, great. And so, game. score predicts, I'll start over here. You've been on the video before, Elgin, but score predicts oh, today. Oh, yeah. 4 1 Aberdeen, Christian Ramirez hat trick. <laughs> 2 2 not Aberdeen. 3 1. 3 2. <laughs> Nice reception for Derek McInnes, the former Aberdeen manager and now Kilmarnock manager. Uh, score prediction 2 0 Aberdeen. You're confident who's going to score? Ross McCrory and I think probably Shady Morris. Two huge Aberdeen fans. Yeah. What's the score going to be today? Uh, I reckon 3 0 Aberdeen. 3 0. 4 0 Aberdeen. 4 0, mate. Enjoy. Right, so there is the famous shed, the red shed that everyone always tells me to go in. At least I'll be able to see it from where I'm standing today, but look at that. Really nice pie, mate. I'll give that a solid seven, I reckon, so far. That's nice, yeah, I'm enjoying that. It's good, it's good. is 21,000 you say? It's supposed to be, yeah. And yeah. so how many people drink here today? Quite good, turn up maybe 14, 15 like so, yeah. We got a beautiful pile of, oh, I was gonna be gold there. Eh? We got a beautiful pile of uncertainty here, right in front of us. And there's a few dotted down the stadium, one of these old grounds. I've always wanted to come here, like I say, but look, now that the game is on, we've completed the Prem. Look at that, all 12 Premiership grounds. And look, it couldn't get any better. Look at that for a view. Let's liven this place up a little bit. Who's 
scored that goal it was? He said it was so Nice. Yeah, sorry, not Johnny Hayes with the goal, but he was involved. Does Aberdeen go forward again? Oh! Killing all over the place defensively. Oh, it's a penalty! Penalty right after the goal. Penalty. Oh, mate, good Todry. I should have come here yeah, way sooner. I know. They're good game, Sam. Miofsky. Miofsky. Literally just scored. Yeah. Some ball over the top. Here we go. Is he going to bury it? I hope so. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, Ash Taylor. He used to play for Avenue, yeah, didn't he? Did. I told you, didn't I? Oh, look Taylor. at that, mate. I what a game. I said it. Ash Taylor. This has been uh, three goals in the round. Five, six minutes, two one, uh, yeah, two one to Aberdeen. Ash Taylor, formerly of Aberdeen. Wow, he's silenced. It's Audrey a little bit here. And the Killy away fans are up there, they're all celebrating. What a game to come to. Mayowski again. He's on fire this season. How many has he got this season? Must have a few. Right on the stroke of our time, and Kilmarnock were actually coming into it a little bit um, towards the back end of this half. And you thought that maybe they might even go in level. Kilmarnock would get a few crosses in and stuff, but then Aberdeen have made um, their pressure pay. And it's now 3 1 to Aberdeen, four goals in the first half. I can't remember the last time that happened in one of my videos, but look at that. The red shed buzzing. Uncertainty who comes away with the ball. Break it to kill it. episode of our Kelty win and the answer is yes and I've not said that a lot this season Alfie Aguiman with the goal which if they win and the Peter Head score stays the same they'll go up to ninth unreal Thoughts of the game then, mate? What a win. Yeah, definitely. What a way to return after the international break as well. Yeah, so I was hoping you weren't going to get a nil-nil. I've had a few goals this season to tick off Obviously, all the 42 SPFL clubs have still got a few to go. Um, but I've now completed the Premiership. Now that this season I've done Livingston, Ross County and Aberdeen. I hadn't seen games at any of those three at the start of this season. But now I have. So that's completely done. Um, my bucket list stadiums. I've done Dortmund. That was one of them. I've now done Pitodri. I've still got a couple more to go. Some on different continents. I don't know if I'll get to them this season. I want to do more games and videos in England, which I've been able to do thankfully as well. Loads more clubs I need to cover down south as well. But yeah, one of my big goals was to come to Aberdeen not only to tick off the Scottish Premiership but also to tick off one for the bucket list as well I don't know why I have a really nice feeling about Aberdeen as a club um, they've won two UEFA titles more than any Scottish club and I always mention that about Aberdeen that's something they should be really proud of um, that is this huge club in the north of the UK really far away from everywhere really remote really isolated in terms of big clubs but yet they still have had huge success in their life as a football club so yeah really cool team finally seen a game at Pataudry which I'm really happy about what did you guys 
sink of the game. They absolutely dominated Killy. Um, yeah, absolutely loved it though. Um, what a day. Sorry, Killy fans. I know I've got a lot of you out there who subscribe, so um, not been the best of starts to the season, but I'm sure things will pick up. Please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe if you're new. I'll leave some videos on screen. If you could click on to carry on watching, that would be tremendous. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.